<laughs> Here we go. Bounce it off. Ready? Grenade. Enjoy this pineapple. <laughs> now get ready for their counter. Oh shit, here they come. Their counterattack. Look out, Delta 4. There's another one coming in behind you. Well, she's dead. Sexy Asian Just is dead. Now, Delta 2. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look flank him. For a position where you can flank the enemy. Ah, here we go. D-pad will That's change it. the camera angle and not in the UI. In Fire. All right, here we go. 75. He's got him. Sectoid plasma pistol explodes into fragments. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Yep, we're screwed. If we lose every three people for every Roger three that, little guys they have, we're dead. Share the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for a minute. Prepare to be dissected. I will mind control you. Oh, a very creepy image. Well, that mission was an absolute failure, and so it begins! An absolute failure of a mission in every way. Lost miserably. Well, I mean, we completed it, but we lost three people. Identify a base location. Oh, so it's kind of like Risk, I see. Asia, why can't I choose Asia? I can either choose Europe or North America. I can't choose any of this. Oh, there's different bonuses. Here we go. Air and space for North America. All aircraft and aircraft. Weapons cost 50% less to build, purchase, and maintain. So that's like if you want to air, like an air, uh, I guess air combat comes in later on. You can, that's easier. Here we go. Expert knowledge. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Asia, future combat. All projects in the foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. We have ways. Autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly in South America. And then all in. Monthly XCOP, XCOP, X, XCOM funding increased by 30%. Well, you can't pick it, so I think I'm going to take Europe. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Unless these, this is really expensive. I guess I'll pick Europe. Our base is in Europe. We are coming home. Maybe later on you can make new bases, unless all those are locked ex except on like lower or higher difficulties. All right, so only one person survived that mission. He must be horribly traumatized. We are on the aliens' Facebook. What are they? They're posing are they? with all the items they have. They took out a Who's Grandpa over here? If you'll excuse me, doctors. The commander is waiting in mission control. That it's Grandpa. Is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. The doctor. Yeah, she must be German herself. A nice German accent. Very thick. Welcome to the hell? HQ, Commander. Ah, here we go. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Bradford. This project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Sweet. Of which. We have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Alright, so what? We're going to promote the only guy that survived? The one person on the XCOM team left? Whoa, you saw him? He was like... Oh, no, he was walking up the ladder. He was like walking into it for a second. So, Alright, here we go. The barracks. Use L stick to select the barracks and press A. You soldiers. Commander. The soldier Gabriel Martinez. Which is located there in the barracks. He's a heavy, class heavy, status active. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Really? Alright, sure. He's a squaddy. The promotion icon next to abilities lets you know they are eligible eligible for a promotion. Select abilities and press A to promote. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Okay, so he wants to be a heavy. New training, fire rocket. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher. Ah, he has a rocket launcher now. The aliens won't know what hit him. Damn straight. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. 
It sounded important. Gabriel Martinez. Commander to the research lab. All right, research now. Oh, it's a new cutscene. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. R&D, baby. We have already begun analyzing the it's artifacts time to geek out. from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. All with right. Your approval. We will begin research immediately. So it looks like this is where I upgrade my stuff. Xenobiology. Normal eight days. Project cost four sectoid corpses. Well, I have two. Two more are needed. So I can't do that. Weapon fragments. These weapon fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry. Alright, so I gotta do we alien materials or alien weapons. So basically, attack or defense. What should I do? Maybe we should work on defense. Thank you, Commander. This research will I hope take I get to do time. the other one as well we later on. You once it is complete. Oh shit! Something's happening. Commander, it sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Okay, so come back there when I get new stuff. They want me to go to mission control. The enemy which is, is why capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. Ah, we to one. The we're only equipped to deal with one threat. Resources to our cause, but the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Why don't we have two two uh two helicopters go to different places, two battles at once? All right, so the United States, there's al uh, abductions in Kansas City. Meanwhile, in China, there's also abductions. Both of them are easy, but the reward for this is four scientists, and the reward for this is $200. I, you know what I say? I say, fuck Kansas, we're going to Beijing. <laughs> oh well, too bad for Kansas. are waiting for you in the hangar. Hopefully uh, the Wicked Witch and Dorothy can take care of this. What the hell? Commander, before deploying oh, these are my people. I have more people now. Out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. Yeah, here's Martinez. SQ Martinez. What, what does RK mean? What does SQ mean either? Here we go. Let's edit these people. Abilities. He can only have, yeah, he can only have uh, the, squ oh, squatty, that's what I mean, squatty, SQ. He can only fire a rocket. What does it say? Fire a rocket using an equipped launcher. This ability cannot be used after moving, nor more than once permission. So I can only use it once, and that's my turn. Alright, choose the armor. Body armor. That's all I can have. LMG, rocket launcher. I have infinite rocket launchers, but only one rocket permission. Frag grenade. Alright, so I can't really put anything else on. Here we go. What's this? Customize the name and appearance of this soldier. Oh. So I can completely customize my guy. Race, voice, head. Skin color, hair, hair color, facial hair. Oh, ha, ha, this is going to be pretty fun. What is it? That's Asian. That's black. It seems like normal, uh, normal, well, not normal. Ugh, no race is normal. Oh, God. That was the most racist thing I think I've ever said. Alright, there's only four. So, here we go. Caucasian. Let's deal with voice later. Head. Skin color for a Caucasian male. Here we go. I can spin him. Let's get rid of that facial hair. He needs a beard is what he really needs. Like that. Any other good beards? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, here we go. They don't have that with a mustache, though. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. We'll have to deal with it. Maybe they do. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, like this is really good. All right, so they do have it. Black hair color. <clears throat> Let's deal with the voice. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Good to go. Half of these sound the same. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Good to go. Order 
Orders confirmed. Moving out. All right. So you know who I think I'm gonna. I, you know who I think this guy really is. Who I'm gonna make him. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Yes. Billy Mays. Back from the dead to fight the alien threat. No, fuck, his name doesn't have an E in it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Billy Mays. So we have Sergeant Billy Mays here reporting for duty. Oh, his rocket launcher's like glitching. What the fuck? Yo, the rocket launcher's glitched through his leg off his back. Okay. Sergeant Billy Mays reporting for duty to fight the aliens. Oh, I can customize all these guys, too. Here's an American. Who should we make this guy, then? No abilities. All of them are locked. I can't even preview them. Can't do anything. Alright, so... What can I do? All I can do is customize him. Who else should I make, huh? We have a couple of interesting people. Here we go. Let's make a black marine. Whoa! Not with that hair color. Hell no. <laughs> This is slightly green hair color. What? Alright, first of all, let's get rid of all that hair. I mean, whoa, no. This, here we go. Let's give him a buzz cut. Traditional buzz cut. Let's not make him so black. So black, he's ridiculous. Alright. Solid copy. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Alright, that sounds like a good voice the head just the head shape you can't really change the eye color there you go yeah yeah I like that I like the chin what they do with the chin there I already know I'm gonna make this it's gonna be pretty funny uh, no hair uh, can I give him that facial hair where it's just like a little bit yeah here we go nothing much oh no these are sideburns taped on sideburns here we go should be just like a what is it, a five o'clock shadow one somewhere. There you go. That's it. Nothing major. All right. Nick. What was this guy's name again? Nick Russell. <laughs> Generic American. Will Ferrell. Nah, I'm kidding. Will Smith is here to fight the aliens, ladies and gentlemen. We are definitely more than prepared. I'm assembling like a crack team of people. All perfectly trained to help fight off the alien menace such as this. Alright, so this is a chick. We're going to customize the chick. And no, we're not going to customize her boob size. Even if I could, I wouldn't do that. That's fucked up. Asian, Hispanic. Eh, let's make another Caucasian. Affirmative. Affirmative. Good to go. Yes, Commander. Solid copy. Hold on. Alright, that's a good voice. Five. Yeah, some of these faces are nasty. Here we go. This is a good face. I feel like there's less sliders. Oh, yeah, you can't put facial hair on a chick. There you go. I'm looking for a specific hairstyle. Ponytail. Hey, <laughs> you saw how it just, just fell down? That was pretty good. Oh, you can have her bald. No, thank you. Ah, oh, you can't have nice, long, flowing hair. All right, here we go. That's fine. No beautiful, long, flowing hair. We'll put this on. Helen Clark, huh? Ah, oh, do I really like this hair? What about the one that's just, like, let down? Here we go. This is the kind of hair I was looking for. Alright, Helen Clark, hell no. Let's make this... Most of you people, if you're familiar gamers, you probably already know who these people are. If you've not been living under a rock. Ashley Williams from Mass Effect. That's right, she's here to save the day. Reassigned from the Normandy just for this game. 